Man Faye, and this is... Matthias! And today we are... Openings and packages. This fan is a, mail. Yes, fan mail. I was going to say that. This is a continuation of our P.O. Box opening for this month. We just got these in the post um, a couple of days ago, and uh, we just thought that we would open them. So. All right, so start us off, Amanda. Oh, okay. This is from... Maisie, I think, and you are from California. Maisie. To Matthias and Amanda Faye. Hey! Would you look at that? Socks! <laughs> Little foxes! And bacon! <laughs> and bacon! <laughs> Wait, they, I have bacon socks now. Oh my word. I'm gonna try and incorporate this into a main channel video. Somehow, it will happen. <laughs> you see what the, it was called? Suck it to me. Suck it to me. Suck it to me. But I like these ones. They're little foxes. And I have not had any new socks and I don't know how long. So these are great. I'm so excited to wear them. And here is a little card. Can be read on camera, she says. Oh, it's a Christmas card. Happy holidays. So PC. <laughs> it says, hope a lot of happiness is happening at your home. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you have a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year too. We love our Christmas gifts, thank you very much. They are from a local store in her town. She says, keep making videos, they have amazing contents, are entertaining to watch, see you in your videos. Oh cool. You thank look confused. <laughs> I uh, couldn't read her Twitter handle. Oh. <laughs> but her Twitter handle is crazy mazy. Crazy Maisie. Thank you so much, Maisie, for sending us these adorable socks. You will definitely see these on our feet in some upcoming video. And uh, your Twitter. <laughs> oh my god. That was unexpected. I always have these sneeze attacks. Anyways, your Twitter handle is uh, spot on, Crazy Maisie, because these are crazy. No, these are crazy. These are crazy. These are adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I love them though. Thank you. All right, time for Matthias to open. <laughs> this one, this long record shaped uh, package is from Josh in Massachusetts. Oh, he's, he's taped it good. Josh. Well, I had to get all the way over here from Massachusetts. I found a tear in the fabric. It might be a calendar and it may have something to do with bacon. Oh, I think you said cats. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my word. Oh, whoa. Okay, so it's not just pictures of bacon. It's actually really interesting. Look at how intense this is. Okay, so you have like 10 commandments of bacon. You have like bacon ingredient or bacon uh, I'm recipes. Zoom in on, is this January? Let me, let me just open it up and show you. Bacon <laughs> to Matthias and Amanda from Josh B. Hello, Matthias. Please accept this baking calendar. It is very bacony. <laughs> I love your videos and sketches and series. I enjoy watching them all. Keep doing what you're doing. I will. Thank you very much. And let's just take a peek at one of the months on this bacon calendar, shall we? So this month... Word search! You got a word search. Most popular bacon flavors. Hickory, maple, applewood, mesquite, honey, sugared. Sugared. You just taught me something new. Anyways, thank you so much, Josh. This is awesome, and this is going up. Last and final post from Ivy Riddle from Ohio. 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 Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like wrapped in like. You wanted bacon, she sent us meat. <laughs> it's just in the box, I bet. <laughs> That'd be creepy if it was actually meat. Well, it needed to be refrigerated. Oh my word. Quarter pound beef patties. Quarter pound beef patties? You shouldn't have. Look at that. <gasps> to Amanda Faye from Ivy. This one's to Matthias. This one's to me. This one's to moi. Okay, read that letter. Matthias and Amanda, read whenever. Look, a little heart. Dear Matthias and Amanda. Amanda, I sent the bear because I love them. They look well as a casual gift and are adorable. I hope you like them. His name is Matthias. Wink. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Ivy. And she says, P.S. Amanda, hot chocolate recipes were great. And P.S.S. Matthias, I managed to get a second bear. Yes. So thank you, Ivy. I'm excited to open our gifts. So. Open this these. Is, uh, open it. Open it. Open it. Oh. Look, it's my bear named Matthias. <laughs> That's cute. 
Because it's, it's blonde like Matthias. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank cute. you. That is All cute. right. Do you want to open your bear or should I open this first? Go for that. All right. So this is to both of us, I think. <gasps> what? Muggles and magic. An unofficial what? guide to J.K. Rowling and the Harry Potter phenomenon. Oh, my word. <laughs> She's going to go through that whole thing. <laughs> what? It says... Celebrating a decade of Harry Potter in print, this companion book has been extensively updated, expanded, and revised, including exclusive coverage of Rowling's trip to New York City in 2006. A best-selling Bible for Harry Potter fans, this book tells you everything you'd ever wanted to know about J.K. Rowling and your most favorite creation. That is awesome. I'm going to take a peek into that what? as well. All right, I have, a, I have a good idea of what this is. Oh, it's so soft. Is it named Amanda? I'm gonna name this Amanda because it's brown like Amanda's hair. <laughs> not, I wasn't gonna say skin. Amanda's not brown skinned. My skin is this. Her color. skin is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it is so soft though. It's like that new jacket you bought, Amanda. Look at them together. Aww. <laughs> They're so cute. All right. So we got another another book, I believe. Um, that's what I'm guessing because of the the feeling behind it. Um, and let's see. Let's see what we got. <gasps> More Harry Potter? Oh, is this is cool. What this is, is super cool. Mapping the world of Harry Potter. What? Let me see! Let me see! That looks awesome. I didn't even know these books existed. We're not true Harry Potter fans. No, it's now we nice. are. Complete through book six. Okay, so it maps all of the books. Science fiction and fantasy authors explore the best-selling fantasy series of all time. This is really interesting. Thank you so much, Ivy. I didn't even know these books existed. Look how cool this looks, too. I love old map styles. I don't know why. And when I was a kid, actually, I wrote my own story. It was like 60 pages long, too. And I don't think I still have it. But um, I actually made like a whole map. I was super hardcore into Redwall at the time. And if you guys ever had read Redwall, they had like the maps in the very beginning of the book that outlined the entire quest of the the hero. And it was pretty awesome. So I made, made my own kind of like fan fiction and I would like soak the paper in tea and then I would burn the edges and like write on it so it looked like a super old school map. It was a lot of fun, but this reminds me a lot about that. And uh, that's so interesting because I used to do that in Florida which is where we're gonna go visit Harry Potter, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, um, next month. So uh, this is quite good timing. <laughs> but now anyway. We, now we have something to read on the plane. Yes, yes, yes we do. No, we're gonna take um, the next week off uh, in terms of videos on the main channels. But I have one. You have one video on the main channel. However, I am I have another video on the main channel too, but Jay Fred's gonna be editing that. Don't worry, it's just an Ask Matt. Um, he knows how to edit that good and funny. But uh, we're gonna be taking the next week off, but we're still making vlogs because that's that's not really work. I, lo I love editing vlogs and shooting vlogs with you guys because I love uh, we love talking to you guys and like seeing your comments and your and just your your different perspectives. It's so interesting. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll go on some adventures of our own next week. Some of this this fan mail that you guys have been sending has just been so awesome. And you know what? You know what? I've never really thought about requesting anything. However, I think a really cool way to learn more about you guys is if you're going to send something, maybe send like some type of food that we can try from your culture, country, um, city, state. It doesn't matter. Something that's like defines. Uh, the culture that you live in wouldn't that be amazingly fun to like try and experience I ate all that chocolate you sent on you <laughs> I have like a drawer next to my desk and um, It found its way in there, and I just uh, I ate That's it. That's where that went No wonder I was like looking for that because I was trying to sneak some too But evidently it was already in her tummy, but anyways guys um, if you guys want to do that, that's that's completely up to you and we could like explore cultures and stuff like that in this fan mail But that sounds like a lot of fun. But anyways guys, thank you again so much for all of these wonderful gifts um, If you want to send us stuff be sure to check that um, Description down below there's the address in there and we'll do unboxing videos. We'll do fan mail videos. We do our daily vlogs and 
We want to add another series to this channel called Reading Your Comments. Let me know down below if, you'd if you guys would like to see Reading Your Comments. It's just a series where Amanda and I will take turns reading your comments. Um, not main channel videos, just these <laughs> vlog videos. Because you guys have some awesome stories that I'd love to read out loud because they're funny, they're sad, they're touching, they're heartwarming. And I think that should be said. I don't know. Alright guys, high five. Amanda told me to start vlogging. I don't know exactly why, but she says the video's not coming up on Wednesday. Oh, that's why. <laughs> it wasn't my choice to vlog it. Ah, I dropped all my cookies. I'm sorry, baby. Count seven, but... Whoops. Those are the good looking ones. Well, you can 